For a recent commercial project, I had to create a pretty convincing fire simulation. And here are some tips I discovered. For the wood, Polygon.com has some incredible blender-ready firewood collections which are really worth the price. To create kindling, the self-fracture add-on with a source set to annotation does wonders. Then add a remesh modifier on the parts and remap the UVs to the unsplit log with the data transfer modifier. To place everything, move the pieces around and run a quick rigid body simulation with very high friction until you get a nice result. Now for the exclusive Here is the method to create a growing fryer emitter and mimic the burning process. Add a new object with the geometry node setup. Insert the firewood collection in a relative mode and with separate children. Make the instances real. Add an empty sphere to the scene to control the growth. Compute the distance from the sphere to each point of the firewood. And delete everything that is outside of the sphere by plugging the empty scale in the threshold. Keyframe the scale of the empty and we have our fire emitter. With the same control empty from before, driving a gradient node, mix between the original wood texture and a way darker version of it. You can distort the gradient this way to make it more organic. Add some white with a noise texture to create the ash. Activate the displacement driven by the black parts of the texture to mimic the shrinking of the wood. The fire simulation itself is always trial and error. For a starting fire simulation, The tip is to have the fuel of the emitter start from zero at the beginning of the simulation to your final value. I also like to use a smaller time scale and add a bit of turbulence to the simulation. The best looking fire shading tips are the one from this video by Blender Made Easy, link in the description. That's all I have for you on the subject, thanks for watching.